Well, this is the first time I've started an online assembly. I hope you are really going to enjoy it. The year leaders have had such great fun recording this assembly for you and it's something that we're going to do regularly because we really are missing you and it's important we keep in contact. So many of you have engaged with that online learning and done so well. I've looked at some of the work that you've been uploading under Show My Homework and the effort that you're putting in is absolutely fantastic. So once we are all back together in the academy, it's really going to be good to really spur that learning on. So thank you for all your efforts. It's absolutely brilliant and the teachers are so pleased. With regards to building, the new building is going to be ready um, for September, so that's really good. And it, when you have your English lessons, that's where the English lessons are going to be, is in the new build, as well as your Spanish and French lessons. So you will see that new build and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's really, really good. And I hope you're all keeping well and safe and that you're following all the guidelines from the government, which we all are with the safe distance and also keeping alert, all those phrases. And I've seen so many of you engaging with those activities where we've been clapping um, for the NHS and all the key workers and keep engaging with those activities because it's great to see because it isn't just about the learning. It's about all being one as the Belfair's team because we really do miss you. But anyway, enough from me. Enjoy the assemblies. Hi Year 12. I'm so glad to actually be delivering something to you, even if it is by video. Um, I can't believe it's, it's been almost eight weeks since the last time I, I spoke to you uh, upstairs in the Post 16 corridor and, and down the cafe about this lockdown. Uh, we truly are living in historic times and it's, it's bizarre to think that future generations are going to look back at this time and, and sort of wonder how we got through it and wonder what we did. Um, but I'm so proud of everything that you are doing currently. So many of you are just committing yourselves fully to your studies and you're not letting this impact your overall outcomes next year one little bit and, and I, I'm so incredibly proud of everything you're doing. Um, keeping on top of everything it is difficult during these difficult times but we're really rising to the challenge and I appreciate each and everything that you're doing throughout the day to keep on top of everything you do. We've had some outstanding work produced uh, so far and such dedication to your studies it doesn't go unnoticed by me and, and by your teachers and also it's not going to be unrewarded when you get to the end of year 13 and you come in on results day to pick up those grades, you know that actually this period of time you didn't let it get to you. You made sure that you stayed on top of your studies and you made sure that you are laying the foundations to have a productive, uh, a productive journey through this lockdown. We've also had some outstanding contributions socially from lots of our cohort and from some of our students have done some amazing things for the local community and their families which is, which is so impressive during this time. It proves that we're proactively supporting our community, doing unselfish things for unselfish reasons and I know you've heard me say that through quite a few assemblies across the years. We've got our heroes that we go out and celebrate every Thursday night with a, with a clap and, and I hope that you are doing that and I hope that you are showing them that you appreciate all the work that they're doing. Some of the frontline workers, some admirable individuals that are, that are putting a maximum effort in to keep this country going and to keep it healthy and safe. And it's absolutely outstanding. They receive our, our thanks every week. And it's really important that we keep that going to show them that we're still there for them, show them that we are still supporting them continuously. So think about how you have been contributing have you been doing your bit? Maybe is there a bit more than you could do? Schoolwork should be a priority in this. And actually that's how you can contribute. Because you're contributing towards your future as well. And actually it's giving your parents and your family one less thing to think about because you are keeping on top of your studies. Are you going to be making a difference to your results? Can you contribute to your community? Could you be doing a bit more as a young, healthy adult to help those around you that aren't so fortunate in, in this position. People are going to be asking you for years to come, and maybe in job interviews, what did you do during the 2020 lockdown? Are you going to be able to give them something significant that you've done or achieved? Your study should be really high on your list. So the first thing you should be able to tell that person is, actually, I got stuck into my studies and I ensured that I was able to get 
these grades at the end of year 13. But are there some other things that you could have done as well? Is there some time you could dedicate to helping and benefiting those others around you? I wonder if you recognise this picture. It's something that's been flying all over um, social media and, and the media websites recently. Uh, the, the Banksy picture of the young boy holding up the, the nurse is his preferred superhero toy. And it's really, I think, indicative of the times that we are in. That actually we are supporting those people around us and we are showing the love for all those people that give so much continuously. And it's not just one-off efforts like we're seeing at the moment, but it is a continuous work ethic that they show that really proves how much we value the NHS. Going from that, our health and social care students recently in Year 12 have been completing online courses. And again, that is, it, it's such a massive thing to do, to contribute towards their, their lives later on. And, and, it, and it's really outstanding work, and that was recognised by Mrs Barrett and Mrs Birch. But with Mrs Barrett and Mrs Birch, they, they told me recently, because we've had um, recently our, our National Nurses Week, International Nurses Week, that we've had over 30 students go on to be frontline nurses through the health and social care course that they run at level 3 in years 12 and 13. Some of them are still on the front line in hospitals. We've had doctors through as well from Belfair's Academy and it is fantastic that we have that. We also have some students in year 13 with current UCAS applications for nursing, nutrition, pharmacy and medical jobs that are all looking to contribute towards this wider effort. And I want to say well done for all those ex Belfair students that are now contributing on the front line and also our current health and social care students that are putting the effort in to those online courses. How can you continue to be contributing towards society then? And we had to think about this, me and some of the other year leaders, and we, we came up with the fact that actually we could go back to the academy values of commitment, respect, excellence, self-belief and strength. How can we continue to contribute? Well, commit. Commit to yourself. Commit to your studies. Commit to your future self, your ambitions, your aspirations. Respect your community. Respect those people around you. Doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Not acting selfishly. Excellence in your work and in everything you do. When you're submitting that piece to show my homework, is it your very best effort? Have you put everything into it that you could have done to make it the very best, to make it excellent? Self-belief. I get that these are very difficult times and, and I think it would be quite easy to find yourself feeling quite low. But knowing that you're doing something proactive and positive is going to provide you with that sense of well-being to just give you that little bit of you know, a lift up during the day and during the week. So make sure you are doing everything you can to continue to be excellent, which will give you that self-belief. The last one is strength. Strength to see this period of time through, to go through the lockdown and come out the other end stronger than we were before. Be so strong that your family members and your friends can lean on you during these difficult times. We've just got a few pictures here of some of our students that are standing strong together as Belfairs, being fantastic in their communities and helping out everybody around them. And, it, and it's something that we should applaud as, as well because we are showing that we care. We are showing that we are really in our local community and in it together. We've had some staff nominate spotlights uh, for some of the students that have gone above and beyond with the work they're submitting through Showing My Homework and, and their general attitude to work. Your teachers have been nominating those of you who have demonstrated significant engagement in the remote working. It makes me so pleased that I get all of these nominations in every week. And I'd really like to congratulate personally all of these students that have got these Spotlight Awards from their subject teachers. Just a few final thoughts really from me. We've got the PPEs, these are now completed for you and thank you so much for getting these PPEs done and in on time and to the best standard that you could have done. The results are going to be distributed to you on June 12th, so it's going to be a, a couple of weeks after half term. That just allows us time to mark the work, to moderate it, 
and then get it entered onto our systems and the grade's done. It will also enable us, if you need a bit of catch up work and support because we might have fallen behind, it will also allow us to, to build in some intervention for you for the final part of this half term. The video lessons and live stream lessons that we've been running so far in a couple of subjects have been really well received and I know there has been uh, some people that, that want more of them to run. It is something we're looking into. Um, so after half term, just keep your eyes open for Show My Homework because we will be putting out a bit more information and we, we're going to try and offer you a little bit more in, in most subjects on, on this. Are we back before the summer? Well, the government have been, uh, I think, intentionally quite vague in saying that for those students with exams next year, we will have some time with your teachers before we break up for the summer. Um, now at the moment we don't know what this exactly will look like but very much our intention is that we can get you some face-to-face -face time with teachers before we break up, but we must be led by what the government tell us in this instance. I'd really, really like to, to see a few of you guys in. So again, if you can keep your eyes peeled and show my homework for any information I've sent out and ask your parents to do the same through their emails, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. There's also some additional information on show my homework for you. Um, not just the notices from me and the content from your subject teachers, but also the, there's plenty of stuff on careers um, that Mrs. Rabone King is, is populating for you. So please do have a look at that. It's something you really need to start looking at now. The back end of year 12 is when you're going to make some very vital decisions for your future career. Um, you know, thinking about what your subjects can lead on to, thinking about what sort of things you could go on to once you leave Belfairs. In addition to that, Starting from next week, we're going to have some UCAS information going out to you. Now, usually it's the sort of thing that we do after school as a, as a group, and, and I'll go through a PowerPoint with you, but Mrs. Talbot's been working very busily on some UCAS information to go through to you remotely, because obviously we're not going to have that, that luxury this year. Please do read through those PowerPoints and start completing your UCAS application online. We're going to go through step by step every section of the UCAS application for you, so if you have any questions, please just message us through Show My Homework and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Lastly, just for me, thank you for the job that you do, for safeguarding your future as, as well as safeguarding those people around you. Please do stay at home. Please do selfless things for selfless reasons. You've made me and all your teachers so incredibly proud during these incredibly difficult times. And I can't wait to see you back in school again, hopefully, fingers crossed, before the summer. Thanks.